Welcome back to my channel, Batman Enthusiasts. Today I have an exciting comparison for you. We'll be looking at two top-of-the-line Batman rackets from Yonex, the ArcSaber 11 and the Yonex ArcSaber 11 Pro. So let's get started. Now I've been using the Yonex ArcSaber 11 for many years now. Maybe you've also realized that since I've started this channel I was always or almost always using this racket in every video and uh, I can confidently say that it was love on first sight. I hardly know any other racket that has been used by so many top players on the tour for such a long time as it's almost 10 years old already and I also have to say I've tested many different rackets and while some may excel in specific areas like the Astrox 100ZZ which offers maybe even a bit more power I've always doubted that I would ever find another racket that matches the versatility and the performance as I'm playing mixed doubles, doubles and singles and the ArcSaber 11 was just perfect for all these three categories. So that bracket gave me power from the rear court, but also a good touch at the net and I was also quick with the racket when it came to flat exchanges in the mid court, so specifically important for doubles and mixed doubles. Speaking of versatility, let's take a look at the Yonex ArcSaber 11 Pro. And this racket is also widely used by top players at the moment now. For example, uh, mixed doubles world number one Sangsi Wei or world champion Aaron Chia. They are both playing the Arc Saber 11 Pro. But it is also used in the single categories by women singles and men singles players. One thing I must highlight about the Arc Saber 11 Pro is that I was instantly impressed when I first tested it, especially with the level of control it gave me. I'm not sure what it is, but I find that I can control the height and trajectory of the shuttle even better, especially at the net compared to the old Arc Saber 11. Despite that I still get the same amount of power from the backcourt and even in short swing motions, for example in the midcourt or in defense, I still get a lot of speed and control into these shots, so specifically important for doubles and mixed doubles. So the AS11 Pro has truly elevated my game with this exceptional control that I talked about and it feels like the shuttle is just a little bit longer on my strings and the contact time gets longer and that gave me so much more control especially when I was also lower at the shuttle or when I was under pressure. And from those situations now with that racket I'm much more comfortable to play another good net shot or maybe also play a cross net shot and I was struggling a lot more to do that with my old racket. So overall I've been thoroughly impressed with the Arc Saber 11 Pro since my first test and the level of control and precision it offers along with its power has truly made a significant impact on my game and if you're also looking for a racket that gives you a lot of control but is also versatile and also good for attacking shots as well then you should definitely give the AS11 Pro a try. It's worth noting that there are also more budget friendly options within the Arc Saber 11 series such as the Arc Saber 11 Play and Arc Saber 11 Tour. These rackets are slightly lighter and more flexible, making them suitable for players who may be less experienced or prefer a different feel in their racket. In conclusion, both the Yonex Arc Saber 11 and the Arc Saber 11 Pro are exceptional rackets, especially if you're looking for versatility. And like I said in the beginning, I was already doubting if I ever want to switch from the AS11, but the Pro version convinced me with its incredible control at the net and with a similar feeling in the other areas. So before we wrap this up, I want to express my gratitude for your support. We're soon reaching a big milestone with 100,000 subscribers. And as a thank you, I'll be hosting a huge giveaway and a Q&A session in my next video. So please leave your questions for that Q&A session in the comments below and stay tuned for the upcoming video. Looking forward a lot to it. Thank you so much and see you there.